Hi, this is your big sis Rowena Starling checking in here. I wanted to share some information or share a question someone posed to me here recently, one of my high school chums. <laughs> um, and I think I'll just read his question uh, directly and get to the point. I won't keep you long. And he asks here, can we as black people, especially black mothers of sons, ignore the threat of racism, br police brutality, socioeconomic warfare that we as a people have to face every day of our lives? When the threat is real, how do we handle the fear? <clears throat> well, the threat is real. <laughs> but it's real, it's very real when you're afraid of it. When you're in fear, you attract fear. When you teach fear to our offspring, then they have fear riding around with them and they attract fear. The way to cope with it, moment to moment, day to day, is through, I'm going to do a long post on this uh, uh, soon, uh, but just an abbreviation here, in answer to the question, is meditation, divine radiation, emotional resolution, and visualization. Those are the things that I employ for myself and with my clients to eliminate fear. The emotional resolution in particular, especially if you have a fear, uh, if this fear or any fear is acute and has been with you for a very long time. If you have a chronic pain that the doctors can't seem to find an answer for or a cause of, these things are often created by fear. And we can get to the bottom of them and eliminate them. So, meditation, as you know, I'm not harp on it all the time. <laughs> Can't help it. The truth is the truth. I don't care how you, how you slice it. There's no getting around it. In meditation, you are in direct communication with our Godhead, with our God, the universe, Allah, whoever it is that, um, however it is that you address the one that created all things, that keeps everything moving and perking along. Meditation is that direct communication. In their communication is done most efficiently when you're silent and listening and listening to the silence. I call it the music of the silence. Then there's divine radiation. I'm wondering how you guys are doing with that. I spoke of how I came about divine radiation in a deep retreat that I did with myself over a 32 hour period. I think I slept about three hours uh, in that period of time and I this was given to me. That was an answer to the question that I had. A question very similar to this one that uh, my dear friend Carl uh, asks. And the divine uh, radiation is when we, in a meditative state, not necessarily meditative, I think uh, it's more of a visualization type of a state where you're quiet and... Um, you hone in on the love feelings that you have for, say, your child or someone that you love very much. Hone in on those feelings and intensify them and have them intensify to the point where you're able to then push them out and radiate them, radiate them out into the household, into the neighborhood, across state lines. This, to me, will be an efficient way collectively for us to combat the racist hatred because as you're moving the divine radiation across 
territory and touching the hearts with the intention, especially, of touching the hearts of those who hate. This change comes about for them. It soaks in. They have a change of heart. They come to their senses, however you want to uh, explain it. But that is the way that that will work. But on an individual basis, the meditation, the visualization. See, now, when you engage in meditation, that's one thing. I'd say at the end of 15, 20 minutes of your meditation, and even throughout the day, you may want to visualize a protective cocoon around the one that you love, around yourself, that helps to protect you from these evil spirits that want to attack. All of this is efficient and it works. And then, of course, the emotional resolution, which is really a one-on-one -on -one endeavor that I engage with my client. Actually, any and all of these things are part and parcel of what it is I do to help people to eliminate fear. So that's the answer to that question. There are many answers, but these are the cores of those answers. I hope this was helpful. I will do a long post on this soon because it's, you know, it's a long, deep, involved conversation. But this may do it. Hi, Melinda. <laughs> Good to see you here, honey. All righty then. Well, I go now. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Have a great weekend.